Who would you see? Hello. That's the thing. I'd say, uh, hello. Oh, that was good. That was good. I, 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 yeah, no, hello. An animated one. Right, yeah. okay, because I sound surprised. That's a problem. Right. So, like, I'm going, I'll, try not, I'll try and be animated, right? Uh, so smile. You, smile? Hmm. Okay. Will I put my glasses on or not? No. Okay. All right, we're ready. Hello. How was that? Yeah, it was... It was a bit documentary. Documentary. Okay, okay, we'll do it again. Okay, yeah. You know, but be more sort of, hello. You know, like, yeah. oh, I haven't asked if you to come round. That kind of the hello. All right, okay. Right, ready? Mm. <laughs> 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 hello. Like that. Here you go, right, or you're like, you're not on. Oh, sorry. <sighs> right, are you acting? Are you acting? I'm acting now. Right, acting, right. Keep acting. Right, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this, everybody. Hello, how was that? Good, that was good. Hello, welcome to uh, my podcast. Um, it's 20 minutes, is it a podcast? Technically it's a video podcast. It's a vlogcast. Anyway, it's called 20 Minutes Till Pick Up and this is another episode and if you've never seen this before, well done. And if you have seen this before, I'm sorry, it's still not getting any better. But I'm very excited this week because I have a fabulous co-host, um, all the way from Blighty, actually. Um, and I, I was quite a fan of yours when I... Well, I'm still a fan of yours, but I can't talk to you yet because... Don't nod. You're not here. Think the parrot. So, uh, please welcome uh, fabulous singer and actress, Mary Wilson! Woo-hoo. You laughed when I say that. Just, I said, well, you know, I'm, I, don't, I suppose I don't think of myself as an actress, but I have done acting. Yeah. I did play Dusty Springfield uh, mm-hmm. for nine months in a musical called Dusty the Musical. It's taken hours for that. And um Well it tells you what it is though. But it does. And then I was in Sweet Charity. I played Nikki Pignatelli, who was the girl that had been um I think it was Cheetah Rivera, was it? That played her in the movie with Shirley MacLaine. So right. I played that part. It's quite a meaty part because she's been in prison and all that, so I quite like yeah. that. Was it rough? Well, it was I could be like I was at school. I was a bit rebellious at were school. You? Were you a bully at school? I wasn't a bully, I was a ringleader. There's you, a slight oh. difference. I wasn't a bully. So you would ring up all the bullies and get them to do the Well, no, I had things like work. Mary's smoking toilet. <gasps> <laughs> so I'd go in there and have my number six. And, and people would keep a lookout. Number then, six is a type of uh, cigarette, by the way, in case yeah. you're wondering what it is. But I know what a number two is. Yeah, yeah you get a number one, number one so I'm doing a number six. People are like, what? It's a number six, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, number six. And... Um, yeah, and apparently my friend Diana says, she said, oh, you used to summon everybody to the shrubbery, <laughs> which was the shrubbery in the grammar school I went to, because it was quite a posh the school. Shrubbery. shrubbery. The shrubbery, and we used to all hang out and decide what we were, you know, that kind of. You so I was a bit of a ringleader. You don't sound posh. Were you posh? I'm not posh. I just I passed my 11 plus. Do you uh, want to explain what that is? Yeah, well, it's an exam. Yeah, explain that. So you're 11 plus when you're 11 years old, you have to take this exam and you either pass or you don't. And if you, this was back then, um, before the First World it's War. It's a kind of, you're going to be a lawyer or a trash collector. Yeah, yeah. Kind of test. Yeah. So I so went... Nothing wrong like, with trash collectors. You know what? The world could do with more trash collectors and less lawyers, yeah. if you ask me. You know just what the world could just do with less trash? That's oh, true. Anyway. Yeah, that's Stop true. Stop for the day. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I, I passed my 11 plus, so I went to Preston Manor County Grammar School. They all wore the, you know, the, what they called mortarboards and the capes. <gasps> Wow. No oh, way. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was all... It was like really Harry Potter? Was it Harry yes, Potter? Yes, it was. I look back and I think, yeah, it was like Harry Potter. But I, I came from Neesden, which was, wasn't posh at all. Um, but it was, you know, it, it was it was a good school, but I didn't really care because I just wanted... All I thought about was pop music, as the headmistress would remind me constantly. Because uh, I used to read Melody Maker in history yeah. class and, you know, that kind of thing. You were really, really young, though, when you started singing, weren't you? Well, quite yeah, quite young. Not, yeah. I mean, I, I I was quite old when I had a, had my first hit record. Though. No way, because I, I looked at you on the top of the pops. Can you put? Can you link to top of the pops there or something? But like you've got like this tiny little baby face. You're like a little thing. I know, but I mean, you know, we all had plump faces when we were young, didn't we? Oh, like, man. Everything just sort of drops when you get to a certain <laughs> age. It does. Yeah. Um, He's laughing because <laughs> sitting there, the naked cameraman knows what that's all about. All right, so that was your alarm then? Yeah, that was my alarm. What was the alarm for? It was... <laughs> remember we said... Do you not remember? No. No, you weren't listening to me, right? No. 
Well, I'll put we, my glasses we need, get, we need to get people to share this and comment, and we want to hear what people think, don't we? Do okay. We, do we <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, yes, yes we, we do. do. Go we on, look, share this and have a comment. Use this moment to have a comment, <clears throat> but make it a nice one. Well, she's a ringleader and she can cause trouble and will be round at your house breaking your windows before you know it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right. Can I ask you about the, the Dusty show? Mm. Did you, like, what angle did you take on it? Because the thing with Dusty, right, because she did amazing songs, great voice, all that stuff, but really complicated life. Right. Yeah. Like big secret. Yeah. Did yeah. you do the big secret? Well, it was in, it was interesting because there was um, I, I, the story was told in Dusty the Musical. It was told through the eyes of a fan, right. saying how she was all you know since she was little, she was a fan of hers, and so I would come floating on mm. as if I was on Ready Steady Go or a TV show somewhere or getting off a plane, having having refused to play in front of segregated audiences in South Africa. Oh, really? Did she refused? Yes. She was the one that brought the Motown people over to London uh -huh. and got everyone aware of it um, and, and all that kind of thing. But she, it's, it's quite interesting because at the moment, uh, th this year I'm doing this tour called Ready Steady Girls and I'm doing the songs of Dusty Springfield, Petula Clark, Scylla Black, Sandy Shaw, blah, 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 my own interpretation of them. And I, at first I was go only going to do Dusty, yeah. but she hasn't had quite as many hits as you think. You yeah. think she has, but that. Uh, it, it, it's just interesting and also when you're doing a live show you need light and shade and there was like a bit too much shade with Dusty yeah. you know they're all quite dark and ballady apart from maybe two yeah. so um, uh, anyway so that's quite interesting that she sang these very sad dramatic songs all the time but she was gay yeah. and um, couldn't tell anybody because in you know you're talking sort of early 60s and Jeez. no one told you, especially women, it's quite interesting because I've just read a book about her, funnily mm -hmm. enough. And um, she, they, they said that if she was to come out, that all the women who bought her her records, you know, like I close my eyes and count to ten, I just didn't know what to mm -hmm. do with myself, they bought them because they assumed she was singing about her love for a man. So that, that was her audience, you know. So if they suddenly thought, well, she's obviously, you know, a lesbian. Yeah. Um, they reckon that that would have been it, you know. Anyway, she came here, she came to, to LA, funnily enough, but kind of didn't really make another good record and did get into, you know, the sort of al alcohol quite big time and stuff like that. But very unhappy and very um, volatile person. Which is, if you, if you see her interview, she's really shy. Oh. And quietly spoken yeah. and quite posh. She probably went to grammar school, I should imagine. With a hat. She passed her 11 plus. Yes. And did her not. She didn't do the number six. No, <laughs> no. But she did later. She, she, she didn't start yeah. smoking until she was quite old, actually. Right. Anyway, so um, it, 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 was, it was interesting. So for me, when I played Dusty, I had to kind of, I was like, I would float on and sing a song and then float off again. And there, there mm. was a, a, a section where I had to lose my temper in the studio, mm. which of course I would never do because I'm too nice. Would you not lose your temper in the studio? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I might. But I, I, I usually am having such a nice time, but I, I probably have done a couple of times. But... Yeah, so it was, and also it was quite a big deal to be playing someone like her. She's iconic. Yeah. And I thought, well, he, I could be really in for it here. People might say... People do have strong opinions. They, they do. And also, I said to the producers, because the woman who was auditioning me mm -hmm. was Vicky Wickham, who produced Ready, Steady, Go, which, which was a show in, in the mm -hmm. 60s on TV in England. And I... I I don't know if, if her and um, Dusty had a relationship or not, but they were very close, and then she was her manager and everything. So she auditioned me, and I'm thinking, oh, wow. oh my God. And the first thing I said to her was, I can't impersonate her. I can only put as much passion into the singing as hopefully she did, but I'm not going to sound like her. But then people would come up to me after and say, you sound just like her. But that's the magic of theatre, isn't it? They wanted yeah. me to sound like her. To, so to them, I did... But, but I don't except, sound like her, no, really. No, but except the thing about that, that thing of if someone tells this, if someone tells a story in a song and they hit the story, yeah. then, it, then what you're hearing is a story. Yes, it's communication, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, That's yeah. really what it is. It's not the same as, it's not, I'm going to say, because Elvis tells a story, obviously, in his songs. I yeah. do love Elvis, but it's not the same as Elvis impersonators. Do you know what I mean? It's like with her, no. she is. No, because sort of I wasn't impersonating yeah. her. I was just playing her yeah. and and 
interpreting yeah. her, channeling it, I suppose. But I wasn't... Uh, I, I did study some of the hand movements because she used her hand a lot. And the reason she went like this all the time, she was very, very, very short-sighted and wouldn't wear her glasses. So she used to write the lyrics on her hand <gasps> and then read That them. is awesome because I've got astigmatism. I should do that. Like, because if I wear... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, like... You could go... Yeah. Hello. Well, you know what? I did, that? A, I did a show the other night. I did a, a, read, a reading. Like, I do these storytelling things in places. And I did this reading. And, uh, and uh, I, I, like, I have one eye can see really good in the distance and one eye can see really quite well close up. Right. That's my daughter's got Oh, that. man. So I, Swivel-eyed miss. Shut your face. <laughs> so I was standing. And because I had to read the thing, I thought, screw it, I have to put my reading glasses on. And so, uh, like, I, every time I looked up, I was like, that. Yeah. I just looked angry all the time. <laughs> like, really angry. But if I'd done that... Yeah. But then I would have to have done a lot of writing on my arm. For a yeah, story and then, then it would have looked like you were really tattooed. <gasps> but that, that might could be, be quite, a good thing, it could be right? Quite, quite straight. You get any tattooed? No. No, I never did it. I no. never did. You had a very distinctive style, actually. Yeah. Um, with a big beehive mm -hmm. and everything. And the thing that I always loved about your stuff was there was always loads of comedy in it. Oh yeah. You know, like you would do these beautiful songs, but then, in fact, I watched one. There's one on uh, YouTube where you do. Uh, cry me a river and it's beautiful you know Thank it's you. beautiful the way you do it and everything and then in the side you've got these two girls playing fiddles I mean, and they look like they would poke your eyes out man they're like don't mess with me they know? were called the prawn cocktails oh that's what we decided to call them yeah um but i think there has to be um comedy you know that i think i i don't really relate to musicians who take themselves terribly terribly seriously you know, I mean, I take what I do seriously and I like to, I want to sing well and all that stuff. But, you know, it's, it's entertainment, no. really, isn't it? You know, you're, you're not doing heart surgery. It's, it's entertainment. And I think, I think the comedy element is, you know, I still think that's really important. I don't ever be of anymore because when you get older mm. and, and, you, and you wear your hair like, up like that, just... I don't know. But that was a massive It was beehive. massive. It didn't start off that big. It started off about here. Right. And then it ended up, it was eight inches from the top of my head. No way. Because I had Peter, my hairdresser, did it for me all the time. And sometimes wow. I slept in it. In fact, there's a photograph of me <laughs> in bed in a hotel, still in my beehive, because I had an early call. And I, thought, I said, mm. okay, well, I'll sleep in it. So there's this picture, and you, you can see this huge head hanging off the edge of the... It's like um, the elephant man. That's what I look like. <laughs> So did you have to lay what you couldn't put the beehive on the pillow? No, so it had to kind of hang off. Oh you man. Know. That's wild. Yeah. So now hairs a lot easier. Yeah. I mean I still like to zhuzh it up, yeah. you know. Um and it, I can get it much more zhuzhed up here because there's no dampness dry, in the air. Because it's dry, yeah. Know. Where did it come from, the beehive? My sister. Oh, I've sister. got an older sister, she's eight years older than me, and we shared a bedroom. And did she have a beehive? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. she had a false piece um that she used to put on. And uh, her picture was in the local hairdresser's window. She looked absolutely stunning. And uh, so, of course, when I was eight, she was 16. So she was like, her, her makeup was like Dusty Springfield. And, you know, sometimes I wake up with, a, with an eyelash in my mouth. You know, one of her false eyelashes <laughs> or whatever. Um, <laughs> like stunning. a big caterpillar. Yeah. Like so I, I, I always wanted to look like her. And also I just loved Hollywood films. And there was a... My friend reminds me often that we, we were about 12 or 13 and we were watching one of those Saturday afternoon old Hollywood films and it was Lana Turner in a gold lame house coat and apparently I said to her, oh, I'd really like one of those, you know, <laughs> just to wear around the house. <laughs> I mean, really, that's how I was thinking back then. Do you know how, what I would like? I would like to have time to wear a gold lame house coat around the house. Yeah. I don't even want the house coat. I just want to have, like, be able to go, you know, Maybe I'll put my gold lammy house coat on. Yeah. If I could just have that, I yeah. think that would be enough. You yeah. know. Who's your, I know this is an impossible thing to ask uh, a musician, but who's your favourite musician? Do you have a favourite? Who's your inspiration? Oh, God. I know, that's right? a big... Yes, but you know, that's what I'm going to ask you. Judy Garland, probably yeah. from a little, from a child, when I, when, you know, when, when she was young before it all went horribly wrong, for, for, for all the reasons that how she could put a song across. And and that's what I mean about comedy. I, mm. I like to be able to do a song that is very serious and moves people, and then, then do a song that's kind of quite 
might have some really funny things in it. Yeah. And that's what I mean, you know, she could, you know, we'll walk up the avenue and all that, and then obviously over the rainbow and stuff. So she was, um, but also Peggy Lee. God, have you read about her? What? <gasps> I've just read a book about Peggy Lee, which I had no idea. I know her but, granddaughter. Uh, oh, I well, do. she could probably tell you if you are. Oh. I, I always thought Peggy Lee was kind of like Doris Day, like, you know. Yeah. Oh, quite I think she was quite spirited. Oh! Yeah. A real diva, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but she, I think she was quite good fun because this girl that I know is really good fun and, pe and runs the Peggy Lee thing. The Peggy That's Lee right, I read about thing. it in the book, actually. Yeah. And uh, she is funny, like properly funny. You know, she wears, sometimes wears these um, beautiful jewels and you'll go, God, I love your jewels. And she's like a bit of a, it's a little bit of Peggy. Yeah. You know, like Peggy Lee's yeah, jewels. Yeah. And I was like, no, you know what? So, it, I so don't Peggy think, Lee and, yeah. and, and, and Dusty Springfield and... Uh, and you know the Beatles. I mean, it, the, and the Bee Gees. I mean, there's so there's so many really. Did who did you hang around with? Because you were sort of around with. I read somewhere. In fact, it was on that top of the pops thing that you went on tour with Roxy Music, did you? Yeah, because yeah. Brian Ferry heard one of my songs, "Beat the Beat," on the radio, and he said, mm. "I want her to do the support." Aww. So we we did the big. You know, we did Wembley Arena and um, Birmingham NEC, big, huge places. You know, wow, like fifteen thousand you know, spaces, which was which was quite weird. And I, because I, I quite like seeing the audience to be quite close. So when we did these arena tours, the audience is miles away. Yeah. I didn't like it so much, really. Yeah, because you, well, I guess you just play into blackness. In a yeah. Way. Yeah. Yeah, there's no real, I suppose if you're a Bruce Springsteen kind of performer, it's great with his kind of music and, and I've seen him actually, it's fantastic. Yeah. But I think for what I do, I, I like a theatre. Or, or a funky kind of club or, you know, maybe festival, that kind of thing. Is that kind of what you're doing with the tour at the moment? Is it more theatre? Yes, and it's theatres and some, some clubs, yeah. but mainly th mainly small theatres. Yeah. yeah so great. you were around around all the time of... Because I remember that was sort of the golden period for me, for music. I was like, I loved the music. Yeah, did you like the Human League? And I like did that? like yeah, the Human yeah, League. Me too. Yeah. Um, who else? Is I liked Spandau Ballet at the time as well. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. And uh, and it was the time I remember it as being the time of bendy legged dancing. Do you know what people <laughs> used to just do their bendy legged dancing? And then after that, like I don't know what happened. Rap came in or something. And people now do the riding a horse dancing. Oh yeah, 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 that's true. Riding a horse. The riding a horse. But the bendy legged dancing man, that was yeah. awesome. I liked yeah. that best. Ian Brown and. Sean Ryder and all that. They oh, but that was a bit yeah. later, but they do the bendy. Bendy legged dancer, but that was only just them trying to stay up, I think. Yeah. With, with <laughs> Sean Ryder, it was like, it wasn't so much yeah. dancing as. God, I do. I, I, have you ever met him? I think he'd be quite a good laugh. I think he probably is a good laugh. No, I, no, I haven't met him, but I, I have met. I know um, Gary Kemp and Martin Kemp and Tony Hadley. I know oh. them from Spand Out Ballet. Did you, t you guys too? Because in my head, I, and I had like this kind of like. Uh, idea that you all just hung about together you know well, and you all tell you what is quite funny yeah. is camden palace which is now called coco i think mm -hmm. in camden in north london um that was like the place to go and on thursday nights all the pop stars would go there and um and, and you know what i look back and i hate this we had like a vip entrance oh, and all yeah. that and i hate i think that's terrible really oh well, you you've had a hit record so oh yeah you, you can't come in but you can don't really like that but anyway at the time i was young and um and uh, i remember going there and uh, boy george was there because I, I i was in taboo with boy george you that's know more acting I, yeah, I did somebody asked me a question about that on twitter and i've forgotten to even untweet it but the, yeah yes i i was <clears> i played boy george's mother and boy george himself was playing lee bowery the, wow. the uh, sort of Artist, performance artist. I think I knew someone else who was in that, and I can't remember who it was. Gemma Craven was in it, mm -hmm. and um, oh, oh somebody else. Anyway, so yeah, so that's yeah. that's uh, I've forgotten about that. Yeah, that I always experience. think that he was, he's had a bit of a rough ride, boy George. Oh, George yeah, 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 he has. You know, because he seems like quite a sensitive. He's thing. great. I like him. <coughs> I, I I do. I really like him. So you spend your time between Britain and here. Mm. Right. What mm. do you prefer? Well, it's tricky, right? Because there's tea and all that. There's yeah. tea and there's... Well, you know, now I'm, I can't do the gluten, so a lot of my reasons for missing Scotland have gone, like, you know, 
Yeah, like yeah. yeah. I'm allergic to Scotland. Because you, you know I'm Scottish. You know my my. Cause you my, my are not Scottish. My full name is Mary Macmillan Ramsey Wilson. No way. Yeah, my parents are from. My dad was from uh, Socky, well Denny, and right. my mum's from Alloa. And I still got loads of family out there. And my best friend's mum lives in Denny. Oh yeah, didn't she? Lives in Denny. Yeah, well, there you that, are, you that's see. weird. So, they, what you are you first generation needs then? Y yeah, because my my dad came down to London at the age of seventeen looking for work. Right. And then um, then the war happened, and then he stayed in London, and my mum joined him, and my, my dad's sister also lived in London. But that was it. Everyone else is still in Scotland. Right. And in fact, my uncle Alex Sullivan was a uh, musical director of Grampian Television, and he was on no. TV with his accordion. Yeah. Quick, yeah. can you play instruments? Can you play the accordion? No. Do you know what? I've done a bad thing. He's not started, have you? No, I've stopped my timing. Fuck it, I don't care. Anyway, right. yeah. what's in there? Hey, this, oh, this is awesome. Do you not see this, no? It is. Is it like a little dance set or something? Oh, what's a dance set? Oh. <laughs> God, I'm so old. You're not. It's a record player. Well, yeah. Oh, isn't it good, right? It even works when you plug it in as well. That is beautiful. Yeah, my friend Ashley gave me it. You see, there's something about putting the needle on the record that yeah. is so different from playing a CD. There's something about that, don't you think? And then you have to yeah. take it off and put another one on. Or so, even now, there's not even CDs. There's not even this. Do you know what? No, I know there really isn't. It. There's no actual physical thing, is there? I this think is it's, a, it's about the ritual. All the best things are some kind of ritual. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like even smoking cigarettes yeah. or, or sex. booze or any yeah. of that stuff. Yeah, Would you have a ritual, ritual with sex? <laughs> you like that? Oh, get me my gold lamy house. Yes, coat. exactly. <laughs> That's it's the gold lamy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All Here, right. Mary, get me my gold lamy house. Yeah, coat. yeah. This, hey. might, this might be a good time for this question. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, Ronnie Bergman uh, hey. said. Did she get did she get what she always wanted? Does she accept her use of hairspray is solely responsible for global warming? Well, yes, I could be uh, one of the people that contributed to that hole in the uh, ozone layer. I think refrigerators are more to blame than one. Okay, uh, fair enough. I do think you versus a refrigerator, the refrigerator wins. Thank right? you. Well, what, but when we toured here, yeah. Um, in, we, we did a, an American tour in 1983 and I had a crate of Bis Bristow's hairspray. It stunk, that stuff. And a whole crate. And we went through, you know, with our bags and everything. Mm. My managers got this thing and they went, oh, you can't, you know. Oh, what a palaver. We had to sort it all out and it was put in the hold. What and they got it at the other end of the hairspray. Which spray. is kind of apt for hairspray. With the hairspray. Yes. Is in the hold. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it was in the Supreme super hold. hold. Yeah, you see, oh, there we go. Dear, dear. Right. You got what you wanted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. That's because it's from a song. If you if you don't know, like if you're over here and you've not seen Mary before, she had a very uh, brilliant song called "Just What I've Always Wanted." Right? That's it. Yeah. And you got what you always yeah, wanted. Yeah, I, I did pretty much. Yeah. So, oh yes, yeah, so you yeah. were saying about here or there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, yeah. the service over here is fantastic. It is. The service at home is absolute. Rubbish. Really? I will, I'm always walking out of restaurants. The best thing when you're in a restaurant in London is they say, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry to keep you waiting. We're really busy. And man always says, well, you're not expecting anybody. I mean, it's a restaurant. <laughs> it's a restaurant. For goodness sake. Oh, it drives me mad. Whereas here, you can even go to a diner and you, you serve straight away water. What do you, fantastic. There's that Chinese restaurant in Chinatown in London. Oh, Wonky's. The Wonky. Have you been in there? No. Oh, you have to they, go in. They make it a, a, a specific thing. It's like performance. Yeah, it's like performance art. So they come and they give you things and they're like that. <laughs> they just like literally oh, don't really? give a shit. Yeah, but it's not meant to be that way. Yeah. Just, <laughs> the restaurant just can be empty and yeah. make you share a table. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how funny. Yeah, they're funny. Oh, no, I don't, they, I don't know they, about They're that. quite open about it. I wouldn't be at all surprised if they spat in your food just for oh. seasoning. Oh, oh no, let's hope not. We don't not. need litigation. We okay. don't need litigation. No, that's true. They're just, they're just having fun. It's performance art. But they could. Anyway, as we were talking about my record player, I think it would be a good time to review some records, right? Because yeah, I'm going to tell you what the deal is. Okay. We don't play them, we just talk about them. Okay, Is fine. that it? Mm -hmm. Ah, we've got some goodies. Right, look. 20 oh. fantastic hits. Right, so the plan is, I should yeah. tell you the plan. The plan, I don't know why I bother telling you the plan. I've screwed up every other part of my organisation this particular episode. Well. And all I have to do is put on this timer, and I yeah. didn't do that. 
and I couldn't even say hello, so I'm sorry, I'm having a bad day, right? Um, what we do is, we, I've got too much clutter in the house. Right. Right. And Mark wants me to get rid of things. Okay. And one of the things he wants me to get rid of is my vinyl collection. Right. And I have said I would get rid of the things that my co-hosts would vote off. Oh, okay. Right. So this hang, the, the future of this hangs in the balance with you. All right. So here we are, 20 fantastic hits by the original artists as advertised on TV. Okay, I yeah, remember that. Okay. remember that. I used to get really excited when they brought up another thing. Um, well, um, first of all, Lou Christie. I love that. You did? I, lo I love that. I don't even know if I can see... Oh, do you yeah, know Lou Christie? I don't know. Do you know Lou He always had very glossy lips. <gasps> like he wore... He did? Yeah, did and he always wore lip? leather trousers. Oh, he did. He was quite sexy. Oh! And, um, although I think he batted for the other side. Oh, really? But you mm. wouldn't want him to... You wouldn't want him in, a, a like, a, a wool shop. Do you know what I mean? Or a... No. You no, know, you know what I mean? They'd be, like, all furry. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? And, a yarn that's store. his hair? Because that's questionable, that know. hair. You know what? The, and the, as hair goes, my favourite actually is this one, my favourite, with Neil Sedaka, who's done this interesting thing where he's he's figured, like, he's getting a little thin at the top, so he's just growing more down the sides. Yeah. That's, well, that's, that's not, not a bad idea, I suppose. Anyway, back to this album. So we've got Rod Stewart, Maggie May. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. Osmond's One Bad Apple. I one prefer... Bad I apple. prefer... Um, uh, the Jackson's Jackson Fires version of One Bad Apple. Do you do? Because mm. I'm sure they did it, didn't they? Did, uh, were you an Osmonds or a Jackson's? Oh, Jackson's. Oh, really? Without a doubt, yes. You didn't fancy Donny Osmond? No, What's not really. wrong with you, man? He, he was a bit too pretty for me. I like, I, I'm more of an Oliver Reed type oh, of girl when oh. he was young, you know. He, you wear the ring leader. Yeah. That's <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> that is, you know, it's like, hi, Mr. Alligator, you won't bite me. <laughs> Um, the mixtures, the push bites. On. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Might have to play that. Melanie, brand new key. Do you oh, remember that? I, brand new I key? met Mel Melanie. Oh, you many, did. I did. Was she nice? Is there a picture of her? Um, I don't think there is. No picture of Melanie there. No. Oh, sweet. You know what's? Um, oh, there might be on this. Oh, there she is. Oh, yes. Melanie. There you go. This thing, this album, this is one where the track is the Chelsea football team. Yeah. Sing blue is the colour. See, no, those were the that. days you miss when football teams would sing songs. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I, I saw the Glasgow American football team do a video and song, and that the Glasgow is American special. football team. Glasgow American football team. Does mm. such a thing exist? For a while, they, they had it up. A, Was a this a dream you had, sweetheart? Was this a dream when you'd eaten too much cheese? Cheese and give me. I love cheese. Yeah. Uh, not American cheese. No. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. Now, what's not to like? It's too orange for a start. Well, not <laughs> all the cheese. Not all American cheese. Jack cheese and. No. I don't think. I, you, the, you know, there's a lot of things I love about here, but cheese and chocolate, they haven't got it right. Oh, the chocolate. You have a dodgy America, you do. Yeah, they haven't got it right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Galaxy, that's what I like, yeah. the Galaxy. Anyway, on this album, they have Donny Osmond singing Puppy Love. For yes. that alone. So you, you were a Donny Osmond girl, I were you? I was a Donny Osmond girl. Well, actually, I, to my... To my shame, I was a Jimmy Osmond girl. Oh dear, that's a because I like I'm um, kind of round and gingery, um, <laughs> like your biscuits, like my biscuits, <laughs> <laughs> and good for a nibble. Yes. Um, in fact, and my a dunk. Yeah, a dunk. <laughs> Thinking about Jimmy Osmond and dunking just feels rude to yeah, me. Yeah, that's not right. You know, it was my first the first thing I ever wrote was that it was a poem to the Glasgow Evening Times to win a life size cardboard cutout of Jimmy Osmond, and I wrote it and it was he's great, he's fab, he's number one, he's Mrs Osmond's youngest son. That's not bad. Yeah, actually. well, I think I could have won, but my mother never posted it. <gasps> oh. 
There you go. So you this. About that I don't know, man could have had, even yeah, now, I could have had a life size cardboard cut out. There could have been a portrait, a life We could have had Jimmy Osmond right there. Behind us, yeah. yes. So what do you think? Keep her well, get rid of. What would you say? You see, you've got, you know. Beautiful Sunday, Daniel Boone, for the slosh. Do you I do the like slosh? That. Do you do the slosh? Do you know what the slosh is? Oh, that dance. Yeah. They, they like that in Scotland. Yeah, don't that's they? what I'm saying, because if you didn't know what the slosh was. That's, yes, that's right. Yeah, my, my cousins yeah. all do it. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh, the Del Delphonics. La 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 means I love you. You are a proper singer. You I can do it. She's I a am. proper singer. I am. I've got certificates. To yeah. Prove it. Um, and it's got. Uh, Beg Steeler Borrows with a gun to Beg Steeler Borrow. But dee dee dee. Yeah. Um, love grows where my rosemary goes and nobody knows like me. I didn't like that song. Okay. <laughs> um, and I mean, I'm going to make you mine. I tried every step in the da 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 something like that. Um, You're good at this, aren't you? You're good at this. So I think uh, the Chelsea football team is a no-no. And yeah. also the Bee Gees. I was going to marry Barry Gibb when I was 11. <gasps> oh, when you were 11? I thought when you were going to tell me a thing there. It was no, like a thing. when I was 11. Yeah. Me, what happened well, when you met him? Me Did and my friend him? Mandy, I yeah. lived at number 30, she lived at number 16. She was going to be a nurse, and she was, and I was going to be a singer, and yeah. I was, or am. Yeah. Anyway, she liked Maurice Gibb. And I like Barry Gibb, and we couldn't find anyone to like Robin Gibb. Oh. Anyway, um, so we were pretending. Not we were even ringleading, couldn't you just ringlead it? No, it was just me and Mandy, Morris and Barry, no one else. Oh. So she'd come round and we'd pretend we were married to them. This is oh. the honest, honest truth. We pretend we were married to them. We go, oh, they'll be back from the studio soon. Let's make the dinner. <laughs> All this stuff. And then Barry's um, <gasps> birthday comes around, and I said, it's Barry's birthday. I want to get him a present. So we've, I got him this cuddly toy. And she said, shouldn't we get something for Morris and Robin? You know, just to put in the box a little something. So, and this is the God's honest truth. So we got a shoe box and in the middle was Barry's present and either end was 10 Benson and Hedges. <laughs> Those are cigarettes for Americans. <laughs> 10 Benson and Hedges each for Robin and Morris. And we sent, sent it off to the fan club. Mm. Not a dicky bird. No, you know they smoked them. Well, well, I hope they did. The fan club. No, no, I don't oh, think... Oh, the fan club. Yeah, yeah they must have smoked them. The Bee Gees don't smoke. You can't go... Ah, when you're, like, on the... <laughs> no, you know what I mean? You can't. can't. You'd be like... Ah. And then he married Miss Scotland. Oh, Lulu. No. Oh, was that the other one? No, Morris went out with Lulu. Oh, he did marry. He did yeah, marry Lulu. Lulu. He did. Well, oh, there's a big Scottish yeah, thing going yeah, on at the beaches. Well, if you had just told him, but Barry, yeah, well, it was Barry. Barry married Miss Scotland. I don't yeah. know what her name is. But if he'd married me, it would be Barry and Barry. That would have been oh, nice. Oh, and you could have had children, Larry and yeah, Harry. Gary. Well, my band was called Harry, Larry, Barry, Gary, Carrie, and Jim. The Will Sations. <laughs> That's what they were called. Were they named after Barry Gibb? Probably. Did you ever meet Barry Gibb face no. to face? No, I, I still would like to meet him because I just think, I, th mm. I still think they're not acknowledged quite enough as great songwriters. I don't even, is he still alive? Yes, he's the only one. There's a sister and him and that's it, all the, mm. all the rest of... Uh, so are they keeping this? I, 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 I feel like you should. I do too. Be do you know what? there's, there's rarities on there. Yeah. No, I'm not. I have. I have. Uh, Nana, 99 Red Balloons, I threw that one out. And also, I, I love, I love the the cover and yeah. everything. It's really I do, I do. It's representative of a time. It is, so I would keep right. that one. So, Neil Sedaka, while we're on a roll. Yeah. Which has been up for eviction constantly. And no, it's to be evicted. A calendar, never, a calendar girl and... Never gone. Ding. Proud Mary. I didn't know he sang that. Uh, no, he I didn't write I it, did he? No, he didn't. didn't. And also Stairway to Heaven, but that's not the same Stairway to Heaven. It's not the... Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't think so. No, no, no it's How's it go? Uh, 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 I'm not a singer. <laughs> in case you needed me to put yeah. that out. And in fact, do you know, like I've done a couple of plays where I didn't... This is one... Um, no. Oh. oh, no! Does that mean the eggs are cooked? <laughs> means the eggs are cooked. It means we're going to do another one. So, uh, if you're up for that, you're up for that. I'm fine. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to do another one, and this time my timer's going to work. And uh, and uh, we'll be back for part two next week. Yeah. Bye. Wave. Bye. Oh, bye. Man alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right.